Hi, Ken from Audio Talk. It's been a while since my last video. For a really long time, actually. Sorry about that. But this is very, very important for you, the one to maintain your, the base of your speaker driver. I hear all the time about ceiling speakers and their installation that it's lacking base. There are several things that goes into that ensuring that you maintain that base. This one is extremely important not to have. And that's called the acoustic short circuit. So let's look at an oh here. <laughs> let's look at an illustration of a of a speaker driver. And say the cone, the membrane, what moves the air, you know, um, pushes out and it'll produce pressure in front of it. But what it also does is that produces an exact same amount of vacuum on the other side. So negative pressure. And what's also interesting is that, so all these different frequencies, all these sound waves have various length, depending on what high high of a tone we're talking about. So the higher than the tones, the notes are, the shorter the, si the, the wave is. And so what happens is that as long as the, the, the tones are within the size of the speaker driver, so the wavelength is not exceeding the actual speaker driver, the waves will then hit the speaker driver and go back out into that direction. So that's why high tones, the higher they are, the more directional they are. That's why that you need to stay very precise in line with the tweeter and the woofer. The sound is pretty much everywhere because the wavelength of those is really long. And what happens to those sound waves is that they will wrap around the speaker then. They pressure out once they're long enough to go around the speaker they will just wrap around. But here's the thing, we had the negative pressure or we have the op exact opposite pressure of the front side on the back side. It will do the exact same thing. So when you have that negative pressure meeting with the positive pressure from the other side, you have total and perfect cancellation. All the bass disappears. A little thing to try in that, you know, to, to kind of test that theory is to take a, like your ceiling speakers and then play music with some good bass and then take it down and then see that it all disappears. And that doesn't matter if you have a back box or anything like that. It will still play. It has the perfect amount of cue. That's a whole other video that it will play pretty much just as well in free air as up in the ceiling, but because those sound waves now can meet each other, it cancels out and there's no bass. So what can you do? What can you do when you, if you have a ceiling that is, you know, having air being able to come through, which is great, you know, you have sound absorbing ceiling tiles and all that sort of thing, and you might have a, some penetrations, you might have some backlighting along the sides of your ceiling that allows air from that side to meet with the one from this side. In that case, I suggest you build in back boxes. They have other advantages to the sound. They're of course difficult to bring into your system especially if it's not a new build or a renovation that you're doing so the whole ceiling is down if you have to cut into the drywall now you also have to do all that so i do understand that that that's a hard one to do however the big advantage besides that you are avoiding this acoustic uh, short circuit or the, can the cancellation of your bass is also that you control the speaker driver much better it will you you can 
it will work like a like suspension in your car. So when it pushes out, the um, vacuum from the back will help the driver to to hold itself back, and and it's not going to limit the amount of power that way. It's just going to be more firm, and it's going to throw less both in and the same thing back. It the pressure from the box is going to keep the unit, the speaker driver, from moving quite as much. What happens if you don't have a box in in terms of that and lack of control is that you'll reach much quicker what's called a bottom out. And bottom out is when you have that pluck sound. That's that's the voice coil what it's called it's like a coil of of copper wire where your or aluminum and where your um, amplifier is connected to that is sitting inside of a magnetic permanent magnet and 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 when that motor system hits that permanent magnet it gets that clack sound or pluck sound uh, and 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 so you will avoid uh, that by putting in a back box and, and get more extra, what can you say, um, headroom to, to play loud and still have a lot of bass. The other thing is, uh, you know, acoustic spillage, you know, or like, uh, you know, if you have a house full of these ceiling speakers, um, you can have one speaker, because it, it, it will play just as much bass, one the upwards, you know, as much as downwards, so you can have music playing down into another area, you know, or specifically if you have two stories and you're having a speaker in the ceiling in, in the downstairs, you would hear a lot of it up through the floorboards uh, upstairs. So those are the things that additionally, along with the acoustic short circuit, that a back box would help you with. Um, this is also really important again like if you have acoustic tiles uh, any kind of uh, ceiling material where that uh, that air can go through it and that's why it works uh, to 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 kill uh, some of all this uh, reverberation that is by absorbing by letting air coming through the ceiling tile but then you would have also the base pressure of your ceiling speakers uh, you know uh, coming through that very same ceiling tile and killing itself that way and again you need the back box so couldn't you just put a plate you know a, a giant plate behind it well it's gonna need to be really long because you have sound waves at 20 hertz, you're talking about like 17 meters, and that's time three, and you have it in feet. So, about half of that is realistic out of a ceiling speakers, of course. I mean, they don't play down to 20 hertz typically. Uh, if it says that in the in the data, I will be <laughs> curious if it's true. Uh, but 40, 30 to 40 hertz, very common. And so you're at least looking at half that length. So you're talking about a really large plate. So if you have regular drywall, this is typically not a problem. Yes, all right. That's what I wanted to say about acoustic shorts. And uh, it also goes, of course, for, the, uh, for a regular speaker. If you have an open baffle speaker, that's what you're fighting. You know, you have to compensate for these giant losses in the bass. Now the bass gets great in one of those, but you really, really have to compensate a lot in your crossover, which I recommend is a digital. But now we, you know, I mean, it's going on and on about that. That's a whole nother video. I mean, when we were talking about uh, that type of speaker, but so here's the concept, acoustic shorts, and here's Ken from Audio Talk. Take care and have fun with your projects. Bye.